Hey guys, I'm back. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a movie review on Despicable Me 4. This is the sixth entry in the Despicable Me franchise. It was released in 2024. It stars Steve Carell, Will Ferrell, and Joey King. In this movie, Gru and his family are told they must disappear when criminal mastermind Maxime Lamau escapes from prison and vows revenge against Gru. Before we get into this review, I want to say that I'm sorry this is a short review. I originally wasn't intending to make this at all. I was going to make a quick review because the film has been out in the US for over a week and I just don't have that much to say about it because it's Despicable Me 4. As a result, I don't have much to say about it in this video, but I did want to make a full review on it just because I feel like I wouldn't really be able to say everything I wanted to say in a quick in a quick review if I made a quick review. So this is a short review, but you know, it's a full review technically. Anyways, without further ado, let's begin with the positives. And immediately, a positive thing to say about this movie is that six movies into this franchise, it still has the energy that has made it so successful with kids in particular up to this point, which is impressive. This film still delivers what you want to see in a Despicable Me movie, and it still has that frantic and I, I want to say energetic energy, but that's such a stupid, like, that's such a stupid thing to say. Just the energy that has been in the previous movies up to this point, it is here, and it's very impressive that they're still doing that. It makes it feel like the franchise is still alive 14 years later, which is impressive. This has been going on for longer than the MCU was going on for when Endgame came out, and it's very impressive that, that it still has the energy at this point. It maintains the hyperactivity that has defined the franchise. And if you are just going to see this movie for more of the same Despicable Me stuff and you are a Despicable Me fan, you will be satisfied. There is plenty of fast-paced animation, the same humour that has been in the franchise up to this point, and very violent slapstick. It delivers more of the same in a good way if you're a fan of the franchise. And also, the Mega Minions are a highlight, like, you know, just, like, th there's no, like, I can't, I can't miss that, I can't, like, miss that out, I can't not say that. The Mega Minions in this film kind of awesome. Another positive with this movie is that the voice acting is very good. Steve Carell continues to be elite as Gru, and Will Ferrell and Sofia Vergara, however you say her name, are fun additions. The Despicable Me franchise has very good voice acting overall, and that trend continues in this movie. Anyways, let's move on to the negatives. Point of reference, I've been watching the Despicable Me movies because Despicable Me 4 is out, and I haven't watched the Minions movies yet. I've seen Minions before, I've never seen Minions The Rise of Gru, but I haven't seen the Minions movies in my watch of these films that I'm doing. I'm going to do a ranking of the franchise so you know i'm watching all these films and i haven't watched the minions movies yet and i've watched the films in a really like close to how do i word this close together time span you know what i mean I i've watched them like a day after each other each time i saw i what i rewatched the spick me three on the same day that i went out and saw this movie and as someone who hasn't seen the minions movies yet in my despicable me watch slash rewatch this movie made me feel tired. Look, during my watch of these movies, I have felt nothing. No aggression towards this franchise whatsoever. Even though I know a lot of people really strongly dislike it, I have felt no aggression towards it whatsoever. And you could say that is maybe linked to nostalgia because I did grow up with the first two Despicable Me movies. But I, whenever I rewatch stuff, especially stuff that, you know, like when I rewatch stuff that I, I watched a lot when I was younger, I never let nostalgia get in the way. That is like my main goal. I just, I, I try not to look at it through rose tinted glasses and and i haven't been doing that with this and you know that being said i haven't had a completely miserable time watching these movies so far up until I watched this. And I promise it had nothing to do with the fact that I was doing nothing but watching Despicable Me movies up until the point where I watched this. And for people like me who aren't mega fans of this franchise, I mean, I kind of am, but you know, for people like me who aren't diehard fans of it in the way that I just love everything it puts out, like, like I, I just... Like, I, I didn't really enjoy my experience with this at all. All of the Despicable Me movies, apart from the first one, have made close to or a billion dollars. And the first one made half a billion dollars. And that was when no one in the world knew what Despicable Me was before the film came out. No one knew what the minions were. No one knew about any of this stuff and it still made half a billion dollars. So this is just them going, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And piling on more of everything, not caring if it makes a coherent or good movie because they know they're going to get a billion dollars from it. Honestly. The film is just, I can't really describe it, it is just more of the same stuff and in a really annoying way because the film has no effort put into it. I was watching thinking you're not even trying anymore. You are just putting more of this stuff on the screen. You have mega minions now. You have a plot line involving mega minions and you have all of this stuff going on and you are not trying to make a good story out of it. And I get the fact that it is despicable me for a good story like like is not the main priority when they're when they're making despicable me movies, a good story is not the main priority. 
movie and it's a kids movie i get all of that stuff that does not mean that it has an excuse to be a bad film just because so and so many people don't understand this just because a film is a kids movie that does not mean that it excuses all of the incompetence that is on the screen this really feels like something they just slapped together with no effort whatsoever they just threw everything at the wall they put all their ideas into a blender and they didn't put any effort into it whatsoever i'm obviously not saying there was no effort put into any of this movie at all it just really feels that way because the film just feels so hastily put together it is overstuffed and the story is not particularly coherent remember when people were criticizing despicable me 3 for having too many plot lines and subplots and feeling overstuffed remember all of that people criticized despicable me 3 for that if you didn't like despicable me 3 because of those issues stay far away from this movie i'm sure you were intending to but this is a reminder don't go near this this is just them milking this franchise dry and it is never gonna end like i, I am having this criticism six movies into this and a lot of people have complained about that at this point like that, that like just feeling tired of this franchise in general this is where i've hit my breaking point and again i haven't watched the minions movies yet when the title card for this film came up and it said despicable me 4 i could already see despicable me 5 despicable me 6 to 6 cabal me i could just see it in front of me and the title card that was playing in front of me said despicable me 4 on it it's just not gonna end and a part of me doesn't mind because minions and grew but a part of me does mind because despicable me that made no sense but that was my best attempt at getting my feelings about this film out and when this movie ended needless to say i'm not going to spoil how this movie ends this is a spoiler free review but if you've seen any of the other despicable me movies you may have a general idea of how this movie ends and when this film ended and when what happened happened i sat there watching it not much this wasn't a big thing but i sat there watching it and i started tearing up a little bit i thought to myself I cannot believe what I'm watching. It was at that moment that I realized this is something that will have no end. Overall, Despicable Me 4 delivers more of the same, but in an even messier manner. And if you're a fan of this franchise, I'm sure you'll be entertained. If you've been feeling a bit burnt out on these movies, skip this. I'm going to give Despicable Me 4 a 4.5 out of 10, but it is on the absolute highest end of the 4 out of 10 spectrum. It is quite close to a 5 out of 10. I want to make that clear. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this review. If you did enjoy, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you want to. If you have seen this movie, feel free to let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below thank you very much for watching and until next time bye bye